Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a 1200 pixel responsive grid in Adobe Photoshop. So you can see here we've got the new document screen up and I'm going to set my width at 1200 and the height can be however high your page is going to be. So let's just say for example 3000. A resolution of 72 dpi is absolutely fine, color mode RGB and the background contents white. Let's click OK. So we now have our canvas and we're going to go up to view down to rulers just to switch on our horizontal and vertical rulers. And to drag out a guide, you just click anywhere on the ruler and just drag it out like so. And it creates a cyan colored guide. And you can click the guide, drag it back onto the ruler to remove it altogether. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the rectangle tool and just left click anywhere on the canvas. And we're going to create a rectangle with a width and a height of 10 pixels. So this is actually a square, not a rectangle. And we're just going to position this on the left edge. So this is going to be our margin. We will have a 10 pixel margin on the left and a 10 pixel margin on the right. Next, we're going to create another rectangle, left click anywhere on the canvas, and this is going to be 80 pixels wide and 80 pixels high. When doing this, I personally like to just pick random colors while I'm creating the guides. And we're going to do one more, and this is going to be 20 pixels by 20 pixels. And again, I'm going to pick another random color. So what have we created? The black square on the left is our 10 pixel margin. The pink 80 pixel square is going to be our column. And then the blue 20 pixel square is going to be our gutter. And that is the spacing between each of the columns. So I'm just going to select all of these and align them to the top just because it looks tidy. And what we're going to do now is select only the pink and the blue square. And I'm going to press Command or Control J to duplicate those and hold Shift to drag them across and make sure that it lines up and snaps in place. Now what we can do is drag over all of the pink and blue shapes, press again, Command or Control J, and drag across. It's much quicker this way than doing it one by one. So we've got four now, or four sets. Let's drag over all of those, Command or Control J, to duplicate those layers, hold Shift, and just drag across. So let's just do these two here. Command or Control J, shift and drag. And I think we've got space for another two. So let's just do that again. Repeat, duplicate. So you can see here that the blue square does go off the end because it's 20 pixels and we only have space for a 10 pixel gutter or a 10 pixel margin, sorry. So if we were to copy this little black square here, he will fit nicely in there. And if it fits perfectly in this space, you know that you've spaced everything out correctly. So we've created a document with lots and lots of pretty colored squares. So now we've got to turn these into guides. So we have our guides switched on. You can left click and drag to pull out a guide as we've already demonstrated. However, you can also left click and drag a guide out and hold shift and it will snap it to the nearest pixel. So holding shift, I'm just going to snap that in place there. Left click and drag a guide out, holding shift, snap, and snap. And just repeat this at every point where a pink square meets a blue square. So I'm just going to speed through this bit quickly now. So we're just coming up to our last few guides. I'm just going to do one more for our margin. 
And if we zoom back out, we can see that we now have our guides, our grid, spanning the entire width of the document. And personally, I like to go up to view and down to lock guides, just so you can't move any of these accidentally by mistake. And once we've created the guides, we can then just drag over all of the shapes we've created, all of these layers, and just delete these all together. So we're left with only our guides, our grid system, and we can then start designing. And you can also press command or control semicolon to quickly hide and press it again to show the guides. And there we go, we've created a 1200 pixel responsive grid in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.